So if we don't take immediate action, and our citizens under this situation of increased fuel price, increased electricity price, increased everything, and we are yet to get the right measures to provide cushions for our citizens. We wouldn't like the kind of thing that we see in our streets. And it is time that we take every possible action together with the executive arm of government to ensure that food flood our country, the right food. I'm Ahmed Lawan, I represent Yobe North Sanitary District. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, let me commend the movers of this motion and also add here that patience, tolerance is uh, they are both elastic, but they are not eternally elastic. Our students are facing real, real hunger. I traveled the two states last week in the north, particularly, and I've seen firsthand how people, especially those who are not in the civil service, nor in any business, common everyday citizens are suffering, fighting, struggling to have food at least once in a day. Under normal circumstances, Mr. President, in the rainy season, from maybe June up to September or October, when there will be harvest of new foodstuff, prices escalate. Prices of foodstuff. Now, we don't even have. That's the truth. Mr. President, in today's national dailies, the executive arm of government is saying is considering reducing or removing taxes on imported food stuff. Mr. President, here's the catch. This Senate must engage the executive immediately. What are the issues? Which taxes are they talking about? Because we should be seen to be doing the right thing. We have really little or nothing in our food reserve across the country. And nobody should come and tell us uh, they will distribute food stuff from our silos. The silos are empty, Mr. President. So it means we have to import food. And if we have to import, it means we need foreign exchange. And that is because we have to engage with administration. We have to help the administration. Mr. President, we are the most vulnerable in the leadership uh, arrangements of this country, members of the National Assembly. Everybody looks up to senators or members of the House of Reps. In fact, people see senators like the Mazayas. Any problem, they say, go for a senator. So if we don't take immediate action and our citizens under this situation of increased fuel price, increased electricity price, increased everything, and we are yet to get the right measures to provide cushions for our citizens. We wouldn't like the kind of thing that we see in our streets. And it is time that we take every possible action together with the executive arm of government to ensure that food flood our country, the right food. Importation, government must be entirely responsible because we cannot, we cannot take people for granted for too long. We have come almost to the end 
of their patients. And I think the elasticity is now going to snap if we are not careful. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Everybody's concerned. The primary role of government is to ensure the welfare and security of the citizens. And that is the reason why we are here. I, I am unable to support the idea everything in its totality has captured in this motion. Because our commitment to cut down costs, to reduce waste in the public sector, I think it's something that we all share. And when the executive have taken decision, it's not abolishing the responsibilities of, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the film industry. It's probably reducing it as a department so that you can cut down your overhead and save money for other things. Just earlier, before this one now, we spent time debating what government should do to ameliorate the current food crisis. We just have limited resources at every point in time. So still being taken by the executive to give effect to the more talked about Orosaye report. I don't think that this Senate should block that effort. When it has been done, I believe at the appropriate time, the executive can follow if it is necessary. If it is necessary. You can have the law say create something, but what is the penalty if it is not created? I su suggest that given our commitment to cut down public expenditure and the fact that we all share the idea that we should rationalize multiple agencies so that resources can be better applied where they are needed most. It will be a sad day if we appear to do anything that will revise what the executive is trying to do in giving effect to the recommendations of the Orosaye report, which most Nigerians accept and uh, expect the president to carry to conclusion. I am one of the strong advocates of the implementation of Orosaye panel report. Because the quest to implement this report has been known for several years since the report was first released. But it was during the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu that the implementation is taking place. And I commend the president for that. Because without implementation of this cost, these multiple agencies, even which functions override each other, will not be streamlined. So taking the bull by the horn, streamline, streamlining this agency is a right step in the right direction. But what is the clause there? The move of the motion make it loud and clear. It's not against the implementation of the report. What is in, against is that let the law, let the rule of law be followed to the latter. That while this repealing is going on, this streamlining is going on, that we should formally be notified by the president informing us that decision or action has been taken on this implementation of this anonymous panel report affecting the following agencies of the government. So that on our own part here, we can repeal all those laws. Because if these agencies were merged and the law is still in existence, there will be conflict of interest. Some people will work in accordance with the law as passed by the National Assembly. Not knowing that that agency itself does no longer exist as an agency, but rather a department in the government uh, 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 agency or the ministries that is affected. So, Mr. President, I agree in totality and I second this motion. Move my, my brother, Senator Nao, that we should follow it to the latter. We are in support of the action of the president streamlining this agency, but the needful must be done in trying to take steps to repeal those laws so that the work can be concluded once and for all. Thank you, Mr. President. I so submit. Senator Dickett Lang, Senator representing Plateau Central. Mr. President of the Senate and my colleagues, I rise to to commend the mover of this motion. I believe that the mover, mover of this motion is also in tune of the stream, streaming of MDAs and agencies of government. But what he wants us to know is that we cannot be working against the act establishing these agencies. And I believe that all of us believe in the streaming. And as soon 
as we are all in tune and a repeal bill is a bill for repeal is brought to us i'm very certain that this this patriotic assembly uh, senate will read and fast track the repealing of the law so the issue here is that we are with mr president we are with the system we all agree that there is a need to reduce but if there is if there is a law on ground there is a need for us to repeal properly and on time to ensure that um decriminalization comes without any act that is against the law establishing the agencies so i support it and i think that um by doing that we'll succeed sir because if we are going to scrub agencies that have existing laws there is always need for us to repeal those laws and then enact another law that will tally with where they will be functioning so that they cannot just be functioning in vacuum film and uh, sensor industry i mean sensor uh, industry in this country need real uh, laws that will govern them so that against all this piracy and the rest of it but if they are department as well those laws can be enacted to go in line with whichever ministries they are domiciled to so that we don't create a, a situation whereby we are just making them departments and they are not protected by laws just as it is internationally so i believe that what uh uh, Senator Nao brought is in line with the direction of this government. Thank you, Mr. President.